So we're ready to cook our, um, our Copper River salmon here. We're going to cook the sockeye. Um, we have a, uh, a cast iron skillet here ready to go, so it's been seasoned, um, rubbed with, with olive oil so that it doesn't rust on us, and we've got it over a medium-low heat. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to season the, the salmon, and we're going to want to cook it with the skin side down first. So cooking Copper River salmon is really just like cooking any other salmon. Um, we want to season it with a little bit of salt. We're going to add just a touch of oil to our pan here. And the benefit of salmon is that it does have a lot of, of um, healthy fat already in there, so we don't need to worry about adding a whole bunch of oil. And then we're going to pick our salmon up, and we're going to put it skin side down. And by leaving the skin on there, we're going to give it some nice texture with the, with the skin. As, as it cooks, it's going to get really nice and crispy, so it'll, it'll actually taste good and eat well if you get it nice and, and crisp. And it's going to help to lock in a little bit of the moisture. So having that barrier on the bottom with the, uh, with the, the skin to the pan, that'll keep it nice and moist and cook it to the, to the, the optimum temp temperature for us. And then when we're ready to flip it over, we'll season the other side and then turn it over. We're ready to, to get our salmon flipped here. So we're going to take a little bit of salt and we're going to season the, the top of it. And the way I can tell is that if you look at the, the bottom, it's kind of like cooking a pancake when you know you start to see that brown around the outside and we can see that the, the fat line there. So we have the skin and then there's a, a thin layer of fat between that and the, the, the flesh. So as that starts to become a little bit lighter, a light brown to a white, then you know that our skin's going to be ready. Or you can just look at it and see, you know, feel it a little bit and it's a, nice and crispy. We're going to want to turn our salmon over. And we're on a little bit of an angle here, so we want to, that's why I'm putting the fish towards the back, is to keep it in the oil. And you can see that we don't have a ton of oil. You don't need to have this swimming in, in oil. You don't want to add too much additional flavor to it. Just the salt and the, the flavor of the fish is really what's going to, to make it a fantastic uh, meal. And if and I then, can interject, sure. that thin layer of fat is where the vitamin E is. I mean, that is a high nutrient source. So yes, you don't want to eat the skin, but what's right underneath it is a very healthy, kind of fish and actually it's it, it's something that some people take off and they should they should enjoy it. One of the things that I see when people are cooking fish, I've been all over America cooking cooking salmon and um, people are somewhat intimidated by seafood on occasion and um, sometimes cook it into submission and have a bad experience. That's a very good and point. so I like to, you know, for just as a rule of thumb, I've told this to hundreds of people that when you're cooking salmon, just before you think it's done, it's done and it'll cook as it comes off the grill and continue to finish uh, while you prepare the rest of your meal. Right, so, um, so what the, the USDA wants us to, to make sure that we do is we cook it to 145 and then we let it sit for three minutes. And then that way, if you're, you're wondering whether it's done or not, is if you just use a probe thermometer and stick it into the thickest part of the fish. So you don't want to do it on the, the little the belly piece. Right. You want to do it right in the center. Um, and then once you hit that 145, you'll pull it off, let it sit for three minutes, and then it'll be perfectly cooked and, and ready to eat. We're going to put that on our plate, and we've got a great, um, a great meal here. And then another dish that we have here is we're going to just do you know, some, some light greens. So this is great for lunch or a few days a week for a dinner where you're not adding a whole bunch of starch. You can do a side bread with it, but a nice salad and, uh, and salmon really work well together. So we have arugula, we have baby greens, we have some uh, fresh-shaved fennel, a little bit of feta cheese, and a red pear because red pears are coming in right now, so they're really nice and ripe. Toss that with a little bit of olive oil and some fresh lemon and we're going to put our, our salmon right on the top. Mm -hmm. And like Judy was saying, you could cook yeah. the salmon a day ahead of time, yeah. let it get cold, flake it over the top, or do a, uh, a full piece right on top of your salad.